Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're at Ping headquarters today in Phoenix, Arizona. We're with Marty Jerkson, Director of Product Development here at Ping. Marty, good to see you. Yeah, you too, Chris. Well, we've got exciting new irons we're going to talk about, two of them. Specifically right now, we're going to talk about the I-210, which is going to come in and sort of replace I-200. Yep. Uh, great looking new iron. Looks a little sleeker, in my opinion, from yep. before. And got a chance to test these early, and the feel was just unbelievable. Yeah, I think you hit on a couple of the big things we wanted to work on with this iron. Uh, this iron's very important for uh, tournament golfers. Uh, I think single digit handicappers around the club, but we also fit a lot of kind of low uh, teen handicappers into this iron as well. We worked a lot with our tour staff on what we, tr what we wanted to improve with this iron, and you nailed it. We really cleaned up the look of it. Um, so the form, the lines are a little crisper. Uh, we took the loft number on, off of the face. We refined the hosel transition. Looks a little uh, sleeker. A lot of players who have hit it say it looks like it has a little less offset, but it's still there to get the ball in the air and, mm -hmm. to, and to get the, the forgiveness. And then this iron, we really put a premium on the feel and the precision. And the feel comes from the, the uh, CTP weight and it's uh, softer, it's 50% it's softer than the elastomer than we used in the I-200 iron. Wow. Uh, it's in contact with 25% more of the face and it's 30% larger in volume. And so all of those things contribute to an even smushier or some describe it as kind of that buttery impact feel. The, the sensation a lot of golfers describe as the ball staying on the face a long time. Yeah. And so we wanted to marry precision distance control and then our softest best feeling iron all in a sleeker looking package and there's going to be people who out there who claim that a cast golf club can't be buttery you can feel how soft that oh, is wow. so that's right behind the ball at impact yeah that gives it a buttery feel yeah no i definitely impact. felt soft you've changed that this is that's the perfect word it, it truly is buttery yeah yeah so we're using uh, 431 stainless steel it gives us really good uh, strength to weight ratio but it, it's been one of our ingredients. We've used it in the Glide 2.0 wedges to get a little softer feel. We used it in the I-200. So the material we're using in the multi-material construction, that's the best way to think about this iron, is that we have a lot of elastomer right behind the face. And so when you impact it, the elastomer gets squeezed and it provides us with some damping, uh, a lot of really good damping and, and, and really drives that impact sensation that players absolutely fall in love with. Yeah. and. It looked to me, especially, and I've played I-200, uh, the sole is a little bit different, a little bit thinner. It felt to me like I could maybe shape the ball a little bit easier with these. Yeah, and I think that's driven by our work with the, the tournament uh, golfers. We, we designed the I-210 sole to have a little bit more angle and, and bounce to it. So it's a little more diverse in who we can fit this iron to from a sole standpoint. Some of them, especially the short irons, have been narrowed up, um, and the shaping on the short irons have been made a little bit smaller. They have a little bit more like our, called our eye blade inspiration in terms of the shaping in, in the short irons. Um, and we also have a new finish on this iron called the Hydro Pearl 2.0 is what we're calling it. Okay. So it has a little more sheen to it, a little more luster, mm -hmm. and it still delivers really good uh, low friction through the turf. The turf interaction with this iron is something uh, unbelievable and it's part of the feel of the iron as well. Um, and, we, and that Hydro Pearl 2.0 still delivers the water repelling kind of anti-flyer, anti-jumper characteristic. Um, and that was one more thing we wanted to attack on this iron, it's in the I-500 as well, is the uh, wedge and U-wedge have a groove adopted from our Glide 2.0 wedges which helps uh, reduce your chance of getting that jumper when you're in the rough. So we, we, okay. we took our learnings on the grooves from our Glide 2.0 wedges and, and put it into the short irons of, uh, of the I-210 and the I-500. And you touched on this earlier, but I-200 was really an incredible product. It almost defied being put into a single category. You had some of the best players in the world playing that for a living on tour, number one iron on the LPGA tour, yet, like you said, mid-teen handicaps easily fitting into it and I know you feel this is going to be equally as versatile for players. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, this iron touches the broadest range and I, and I think you nailed it. You know, we've had uh, some of the best players in the world use this iron, LPGA, single digit handicappers, a lot of uh, avid uh, club golfers 
who are really focused on precision, scoring. They bring a little bit of speed. They're looking for that great marriage of feel, precision, and, and an even better look. Beautiful irons. And again, I think going to fit a wide array of players. Yeah. Marty, we appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Thanks,